Hello again, everybody. So today I am highlighting a bike. It's not a scooter. It's a blast from my past, though. It is a 1984 Schwinn Predator. This is my BMX bike I had as a kid. So I had this in 1984. Of course, every kid wanted this 1984 Honda Elite 125. After seeing the Terminator and seeing the Legend of Billie Jean, uh, other movies also highlighted the bike. Every kid wanted this, but of course, I wasn't old enough yet, so this is what I got. But I was completely ecstatic to get it. I love this bike. I rode it for three years. I beat the tar out of it. At least I thought I did, but looking at it today, it's still in great shape. All the chrome is in great shape. I just got done cleaning it all up. It was uh, manufactured, you can see right there, 1283. And uh, surprisingly, it's got a lot of Japanese parts on it. Uh, the Schwinn Predator, Schwinn was a Chicago-based company. And uh, to find a bunch of Japanese parts on it, it's kind of cool, considering it was manufactured right at the tail end of 83, and this was made two months later in 1984 in Japan. So who knows? Maybe these parts were being manufactured at the same time for these bikes. Kind of fun to think about. But... Uh, Schwinn being the company it was, uh, my parents being born in the 40s grew up on Schwinn. They rode Schwinns. My brother and sister had Schwinns. Everybody had Schwinns. So uh, when it came time for me to have a new bike after hand-me-downs, this is the bike I got. And uh, there was other bikes out there at the time. You could have gotten a Mongoose. You could have gotten a Redline, a GT. Um, there's other manufacturers that are a little bit better than this for BMX, but I was not some superstar BMX rider. I just wanted a cool BMX bike to ride, and I was completely happy with this bike. I love the font on it right out of Space Invaders. These decals are not original. These decals I just got done putting on. Um, somebody on eBay was selling them, so I thought it was cool to put the original decals back on because I probably took the decals off a couple months after I had the bike. But they are true. It's a P2200. That's what this model is. And um, everything on it is original except for the tires and the grips. Uh, at one time I had some ODI mushroom grips on the bike, but those are long gone. But I wanted to share with you what I had as a kid. And um, it was a fun project just to clean all the chrome up, make it look nice. It'll be a nice wall hanger. I'm not uh, sure if it has any value today. Uh, I do remember when I went into Schwinn in 1984, the bike was like $220 or $230 in 1984. So it was quite expensive when you think about it. Um, but obviously, this is what everybody wanted. Well, I got one later in life, and I still have that one. It's just cool to have the two bikes next to each other, being that they were manufactured so close to the same time. So that's all I have for you on this video. If you have any comments, please let me know, good or bad. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And again, just doing a little reminiscing today about my old 1984 BMX bike. Pretty cool stuff. All right, you all have a good day.